Yo, what's going on guys? This is Sid, aka Vicious274, coming at you with another review. And again, it is for Class A Fingerboards. This is just one of their new stickers. And they also have a couple other new ones here. And there's one. And here's another one. Now this one is actually a cutout. It's all uh, shaped to the lines there. It's not square. You peel it out and it comes out in that shape of the yellow. So very cool. And they also have some wax for those of you that like waxing your fingerboard obstacles. There's some uh, Shorty's Curb Candy for you. I'll have all the information that you need down here to go check them out. Their YouTube channel that you should subscribe to for product updates and their website where you can go check out the prices and all their other uh, great products. Now I'm going to be reviewing two of their new decks today. Um, the first one is the XL1 and then I'll also be reviewing the XL2. Now the first thing I'm going to get into is the XL1. Each one of these decks is gripped with their... Um, Royal Supreme Tape, which is a fantastic tape, and if you haven't seen my review for that yet, go check it out. Um, this is the XL1, which is a great deck. It's got alternating ply colors. It's um, more of a medium, actually more of a lower concave, and the kicks are a bit higher. So it's like a, a medium to high kick and then uh, medium to low concave and it also has kingpin holes and the counter sinks of the, the truck holes were done very well the uh, craftsmanship is amazing the rounding is perfect on each kick and then the sanding on the side is very well done as well Mounting the trucks on the, on this deck was not a problem. The holes are aligned perfectly. They went in very easily. And um, I know a lot of you out there, like me, don't really like mounting trucks on, uh, on your fingerboard. It's one of the things that I don't like to do when doing my setup. But with this deck, it was no problem. Um, in regards to the performance, um, actually, before I get into the performance, I forgot to mention the dimensions. This one is 31 millimeters wide, and I believe it was 101 millimeters long. Um, and with that, the performance was awesome. I can't, uh, I can't explain how much I loved this deck. It was, um, the pop was fantastic. I really, I am starting to get more into the wider decks. And, uh, the 31 millimeter was perfect. Had no problems getting used to it. It was an overall great performing deck. Um, it took me a while to get used to the, the higher kicks only because I'm used to more of a medium kick. But um, it didn't take that long at all to get used to. And the nose is just a bit steeper than the tail, which I really enjoy because it makes it a lot easier to catch your kick flips. And yeah, the, uh, the overall performance was uh, very, very, very good. I, I had no problems doing tricks in any direction. Regular, nolly, switch, fakie. It was... Um, it was an overall very well performing deck. Really enjoyed it. So this is the XL1. Highly recommend this one. And I forgot to mention the dips there are very nice and defined. So yeah, that's the XL1, and now we're going to get into the XL2. Um, I'm going to show you the dip. Uh, I'm going to show you the deck first, then I'll show you the differences. This is the shape of the XL2. It's more of a medium kick deck, but with deep concave. And the dimensions on this one were 31 millimeters wide and 104 millimeters long. So I'm just going to put these side by side so you guys can see the differences. This is the XL2. This is the XL1. Now out of the two, I, I did prefer the XL1. And the reasons are is because the length of this deck is just a little too long for me, 104 millimeters. Some of you out there do prefer longer decks, and if you do, then I would recommend this one. But this one was just a little too long for me. Also, the, um, the concave is a, a bit more deep than what I prefer. Um, but overall, I, I did enjoy using the deck. It's uh, just out of the two, it's not the one that I prefer. I actually prefer the XL1 over the XL2. Uh, but in regards to the craftsmanship, the craftsmanship is, again, impeccable. Great roundings of the kicks. Kingpin holes as well. 
the uh, the, the um, truck holes again were aligned perfectly. Trucks went on no problem. The sanding on the sides was great. And it's also a five ply deck with um, random ply colors. Um, but overall, if you're into deep concave and longer decks, and um, this would be the deck for you. Another reason why it took me a while to kind of get used to this deck is because the kicks are a lot longer than what I'm used to as well. As you can see here, these kicks are a lot shorter than the ones on the XL2. But a deck being 104 millimeters long, you're going to expect longer kicks. Uh, but yeah, so overall, out of the two, I did enjoy using both decks, but I do prefer the XL1 over the XL2. Alright, so again, the company is Class A Fingerboards. They have improved tenfold from the first uh, review that I've done for them. Again, both decks were, uh, I put their Royal Supreme tape on it. So again, if you haven't seen that review, go check it out. It's a fantastic tape. I'll have all the information for them down here, their YouTube channel, so you guys can subscribe for product updates. And again, their website, so you guys can go check out all their other products. They have all kinds of trucks, single bearing wheels, double, uh, dual bearing wheels, decks, they have it all. So go check them out and keep fingerboarding. Two fingers, peace.